Alrighty, now it's time to install the, the camshaft and the camshaft gear and of course we have to make sure that our, our index marks is in the center. Alright, let's just get that checked there. I don't know if you can see it over there. Alright, see the index mark. Have a look in the center, understand. See there, All right? Nice lineup with this over here. Right, let's install the camshaft, but of, of course our little key. Where is our key now? All right, a little half moon key over here. All right, do it on pull. Alrighty, I just installed my half moon key here. All right, so the camshaft doesn't move around. What do we do? Don't drop it down your bloody engine over here, otherwise you're gonna have to fish it out with a, a little magnet over there. All right, and if I do drop the timing chain down here, I can always fish it out with this. Very, very handy tool to have. Versatile to, tool to have. Right, our half moon's inside there. Now I'm gonna have to secure the timing chain and then I'm gonna install the, the camshaft itself, huh? Alrighty, just have a look what I'm doing over here. This flywheel index mark is in the dead center of there, okay? Let's just have a peek. Look at the camera, still there. And okay, it's in the dead center. Just trust me on that one over there, okay? And you'll see that there's lines it is going over like that, okay? So that is lining up, all right? Okay, now I have to install the camshaft, all right? All righty, I, I just slotted in the camshaft. You'll see that these index marks, lines, they're showing to the length like that and showing vertical on the camshaft itself in the, in the middle over there. Now I have to get the bolt in there. What I want to do over there, make very sure you clean the thread with a steel brush, all right? Because you're going to be using Loctite with this. But for now, I'll just be dry fitting the one to get it on the inside to line up over there. And then we can rotate the crankshaft, make sure our index mark and this thing's lining up properly. And then we can tighty tighty the other one over there, all right? Alrighty, just make sure, extra sure. Check three, four, five times if you have to. Make sure your index marks here is lining up in your flywheel, all right? You only get one chance of this. If this index marks is not lining up with this lines here, and this lines over here, you'll see that these lines over there going cross and vertical. So this vertical lines and this upper position over there is not lining with index marks over here. You can kiss your whole barrel, your head and your top goodbye, all right? And I can tell you one thing, they're not cheap. That's really not cheap. You might as well buy another bloody Gen 1 to 5, okay? So this is now just dry fitted. I just hand tightened this in there, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna um, like rotate the engine with the, on the flywheel side and make sure that this thing rotates properly, all right? And once I'm happy with that, and then we'll go to the next stage. And then of course, what I'll do is this, we're gonna have to use some block tights on this, okay? And this is gonna have to sit for 24 hours, all right? It has to sit for 24 hours, all right? Because the last thing you want is these things coming loose, all right? And then, your engine's a bugger up, all right? So let me just do some final checks on this thing on your rotate engine. I'm making sure that these things are 100%. You know, I'm struggling to see the, the index line on that because there's slight corrosion on there. I should have actually smeared a little bit of more oil on there, but next time I do remove the flywheel cover, I'll take some water paper and just just try to remove up, just remove some of the, the corrosion on there, right? Because I am really am struggling to see the bloody using a torture, right, this fucking Hong Kong torches, really struggling to see that index line on there, right. Alrighty, I've got some serious trouble over here, right, I'm really am struggling to see the index marks on here, right. If I don't do this properly, I will destroy this engine, alright, I need to remove this bloody flywheel cover here, and I need to bloody do some water paper on that flywheel on there, so I can get the index marks properly all right because right now i really am not sure all right the last thing you want to do is press the start button and this thing blows up <laughs> right so i'm gonna have to remove this bloody thing on you all right all righty i just took some sandpaper i think this is like a 600 grit and i've made a marking over there right so at least when i put back on my casing on here i can be 100 percent sure that this lines this you know, and, and, and these flywheel markings is lining up with the camshaft, all right? Okay, so let's just reassemble this bloody thing and then we can carry on with the camshaft. Man, 
it's a good thing I removed the flywheel cover. I was so bloody far off, all right? I thought I had the index mark, but I just rotated the engine. As you can see over here, I got dead center over here, but over here, look at these index marks. Oh my word. How embarrassing would have that been? Start the engine up and you just hear bending your valve. Punk, punk, punk. All right. So that would have been a complete fuck up. Never mind a fuck up, a complete embarrassment, all right? So, I've got now the index mark, I can see it clearly right now. Now I'm gonna have to loosey loosey this and rotate, I'm gonna loosen this bolt here and rotate this bloody, this gear here on a camshaft and line it up. Right, 